It used to be that if you were an astronomer and you wanted to study black holes, you'd book a night on a telescope, and if you were lucky, you'd get some clear images, and you'd take them home and study them until it was time to go back the next year. But about 20 years ago, a group of scientists realized that if you bolted the telescope to the ground and imaged the heavens as the Earth turned, you could gather images of millions of astronomical features. And this library of images turned astronomy into data science. Now, you might think that this very same approach could be used to understand human biology, behavior, the environment, and how these forces interact to shape our health, and our society. And you'd be right. We're going to measure everything we can possibly measure, about 10,000 people over the course of the next 20 years or more. We're going to sequence their genomes, track everywhere they go, everything they eat, everything they buy, everyone they interact with, every time they exercise. Everything we can think of that might impact health and society. And as this data is flowing into a massive database, researchers everywhere will be able to dip in and analyze this massive mountain of information about humanity for generations to come. For the first time ever, we'll be able to quantify the human condition. We're going to learn how behavior, biology, and the environment interact to make us ill or keep us well, to make us successful or keep us struggling. It is an unprecedented opportunity to understand the forces that shape our lives and our society. Thank you.